Hey guys, real quick, I want to show you how to stream to Periscope or Twitter using Wirecast 7.5. We are so excited that we've added this new major destination to Wirecast and made it easier than ever to stream to one of the world's leading live news platforms. You could stream directly to your followers and notify them that you're live right within the Wirecast UI. You just need Wirecast 7.5 or later. So I'm going to go to my desktop and let me show you exactly how that works. So I've downloaded the new version of Wirecast. I've installed it here on my desktop. All I have in my project is just a little image of the Wirecast logo. So I'm going to load that in my preview screen. Let me jump up here to the output settings menu. I'm going to zoom in for you. You can take select that. That'll pop up the Wirecast output settings menu. Select Periscope or Twitter from the drop down. Uh, your menu might look a little different from mine based on which you've which ones you've selected uh, in the more button area But if you have seven five or later periscope or Twitter should show right up right about in the middle of the list No need to turn it on or off. It's already turned on Now once you are in the output settings you've selected Twitter or periscope as your destination You can choose to name it for yourself. This is just for your personal reference. It doesn't actually matter It's not the name of your broadcast or anything. It's just for your personal reference. I'm gonna call it Periscope slash Twitter. And uh, then if you haven't signed up or if you don't have an account, you do need one. You can see that right here. There is a link to go sign up at their page. Um, but if you do have an account, then it's as easy as entering your username and password. So I'm going to uh, authorize Wirecast. I'm going to log in. It's going to, Wirecast is going to talk to my browser. It's going to ask me to sign in. I've already signed in in my browser. And now it's saying, OK, we found your Twitter account. You're logged into your Twitter account. Uh, but we need the authorization code that Wirecast uh, is providing. So this basically is Twitter authorizing, by using this code, it's authorizing Wirecast to control your Periscope or Twitter account. Type in the code. It's going to be randomly generated every time. Hit Authorize. And then it's basically going to say you've authenticated successfully go back to Wirecast and you should see I can now see my Twitter account right here with all of my information so it's super straightforward um, you can see any other accounts if you need to add more you can do that just go through the same process really straightforward next all you need to do is type in a title so type that in and then just these two boxes are kind of important. It depends on whether you want to let everybody know that you have started streaming. So just tweet to your followers the minute you start going live. And then you can also automatically start or stop your Periscope broadcast when you start or stop them in Wirecast. I love these two checkboxes. It makes it super simple. I don't have to do anything on this Periscope or the platform side. Wirecast just takes care of it. If you're all done, come down to the button here right behind my shoulder and hit OK. And we're ready. Let's go into um, just take this. We're going to actually just hit start streaming. If you want to set up a record in Wirecast, of course, you're more than welcome to do that. I'm going to actually minimize this back here. And I'm going to start streaming over here. I'm going to take that to my live window. And if everything went OK, I'm going to jump over to my phone here. I'm going to launch the Periscope app. I'm already logged in. And there, Right in the front, you can see that I'm live from Wirecast. There's my title, and anybody who wants to see is tuning in to stream. If I tap on that, you can see the many, many live viewers that I currently have. All right. And that is it, you guys. That is how easy it is to stream directly to Twitter and Periscope from Wirecast. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Get out there, start streaming, and update to 7.5 if you haven't already. It is so cool. We hope to see your live streams soon.